on YouTube, this is going on YouTube, this is Delta back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video, where in today's video I'm going to be doing another gun review, and this time it's going to be the HBR. Now, if you've never seen my gun reviews, we start off with some gameplay in the intro, and then we move on to the class setup, including all the perks and the attachments, and then we go on to the tips and tricks, which are really helpful for improving your game with the HBR. So obviously, we're going to be doing the HBR today, and if you don't know how to get the HBR, you actually have to hit Pro 2 in Ranked Mode for a multiplayer, and then you will unlock the Skulls and Blood HBR. So if you guys do enjoy the video, a like and a sub down below would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers, so help me achieve that goal. Make sure to join my Discord, which is in the link in the description. Share the video with your friends if you thought it was cool, and leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. But without further ado, HBR, best class setup, gameplay, and tips and tricks. Let's get right into the video. Alright everyone, so here's my HBRA3 class setup. To start off with the attachments, I like to run in the red dot sight. I know a lot of aggressive players use the iron sight, and if you're comfortable with the iron sight, you should use it as well. You will get a faster ADS time if you use the iron sight, but always pick what's more comfortable for you. I use quick draw to ADS faster, and stock to move faster while ADS. You can sub out the foregrip, you don't really need it because the foregrip doesn't do much. So with a fast fire rate, you're going to want to run extended mag. I like to rock the MW11 as my secondary. In terms of... Operators like to run Annihilator over Gravity Spikes. For Tacticals, I'm just going to run a standard Frag Grenade and Trophy System. But if you are more aggressive, you want to run the Smoke Grenade. In terms of Red Perks, Lightweight is probably my favorite, and it's better for more aggressive players, but I'm not that aggressive. Uh, Flak Jacket is really good too. Agile is really good as well, and so is Skulker. Skulker plus Stalk is going to be really fast when you're moving around while ADS. In terms of green perks, nobody uses Shock RCs anymore because they're really easy to get out of. So Ghost is really good for avoiding UAVs, so you don't even need to run counter UAV. And Toughness is okay too, but you don't really need it because the HBR doesn't have that much recoil to start off with. And if you're extremely good at the game, the best perk for you is probably going to be Vulture because you're going to need ammo. You're not going to die a lot. You're going to need to keep picking up ammo while you're playing. And also, the best blue perk in the game, if you're not already running it, is Dead Silence. Make sure you're running it. So that was it for my HBR class setup. Now let's move on to the tips and tricks. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now let's get on to the HBR tips and tricks. Tip number one, up to 13 meters, the HBR will kill faster than the Cordite. That is insane. 13 meters is a lot of distance, and it's not even just by a few milliseconds, it kills faster by more than 40 milliseconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the HBR is cracked. Tip number two, having a foregrip on the weapon doesn't really change its recoil that much, making a foregrip completely useless. That's why I didn't use a foregrip on the class setup. Due to this, the recoil is very manageable and is mostly vertical or linear, which is very good for newer players. Number three, up to 13 meters, you will kill enemies in four shots, and from 13 to 25 meters, you will kill in five shots. From 25 to 35 meters, you will kill in six shots, while after that, it will take you seven shots to kill your opponent at full health. Tip number four, headshots with this weapon are completely useless when your enemy is at full health. Don't even try to go for headshots as you will most likely miss some shots. Always focus on hitting your shots instead. Tip number five, the reason that this weapon was so hyped up is because not only is the recoil easy to control, the fire rate is extremely good. Combined with a high damage causing a four shot close range kill, you have one of the best assault rifles in the game. I will be doing a legendary showdown video of the KN44 versus the HBRA3 because these two are basically contenders for the title of the best assault rifle. Tip number six, this gun can be played pretty much in every mode. Just because it's an assault rifle doesn't mean it won't shred close range. In TDM, you're set with good range and low recoil, and in Domination or Hardpoint, you should be playing the OBJ role or the Objective role. If you want to play something like the Slayer role, I wouldn't really recommend the HBR, when you could use something like the Pharaoh, the Cordite, or the RUS for the Slayer role, those kind of weapons. In SD, you're also set because you can hold angles and hit shots easily with the HBR's low recoil. In the end, this is a premium, top of the line assault rifle with no real weaknesses. It is great for new players and is an S tier AR in my opinion. The only problem with all this is that I guarantee you the HBR A3 is getting nerfed soon, maybe in the next update. <laughs> 
So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, a like and a sub down below would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, so please help me achieve that goal. Also, share the video with your friends if you thought it was cool, and leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. My Discord server is in the link in the description. We're probably going to be running some Discord member games, so stay tuned for that and join the Discord server. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you learned something too. This is Delta, signing off. Remember to always believe in yourself, and I will see you all in the next one.